everyone and welcome to a new video. If you're new around here, welcome. My name is Beth and if you are returning, welcome back to my channel. So it is Saturday morning, it's about 7.30. Grant's still upstairs asleep and I'm up nice and early this morning because I've got a day full of wedding prep appointments, so like beauty appointments. Um, so I'm just having a cup of tea and I've got some tomato and toast for breakfast. So today I've got a brow and lash appointment. Then I'm meeting my mum for some toast and I've got some coins to deposit into the bank. And then I've got... Wait, is there another appointment? No, there's not another appointment between that. After toast, I'm going to have my filler done so I'm having my lips topped up I'm having 0.7 mil in my lips and I'm also having some cheek filler which I've oh, <laughs> which I've never had done before so I'm having some cheek filler this afternoon as well which I'm really excited about and then I have a hair appointment to sort out these roots so yeah I've got a full day of wedding prep appointments so I thought it'd just be fun to film. I love being able to look back on kind of memories like this like this is the main day of prep for the wedding in terms of like beauty stuff so I'll never have this day again so yeah I just love watching these kind of videos back and um, I thought I'd just bring the camera along and try and film what I can um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I'll film what I can and um, yeah, take you with me. Okay, so I'm just about to head out the door, but just before I do, I just wanted to share that we got our very first wedding card this week, which is so nice. It's from my mum's um, friend. It's from one of my mum's childhood friends. I just thought that was so thoughtful and kind. Um, so yeah, thank you on the off chance if you happen to be watching this. Um, but yeah, that's so nice. And also, if anybody's wondering why I haven't got my engagement ring on, it is at the jewellers being polished and cleaned, ready for the wedding. So I feel really weird not having it on. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it back. But yeah, got my shoes on, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go to my first appointment. Okay, so that is first appointment of the day done. Had my lashes done and I've had a brow tint and tidy up. Um, so my lashes are a hybrid, um, yeah, hybrid lashes and I've had a full set put on this morning. Um, and I get my lashes done with HP Beauty in Sheffield. Um, yeah, love them as always. She always does such an amazing job, can't highly recommend her enough. And I always feel so much more, just a bit more like put together once I have my lashes on. Um, so yeah, I've got my lashes on, I had my brows done and we finished up a bit earlier than expected actually, which is great. So I've just arrived at Meadow Hall and I've got some coins to put in the bank. Um, and I think it is Nat West that I'm going to pop into now and just put these coins in the bank. Um, but it is just worth mentioning that some banks will charge um, and some kind of coin machines will charge if you ever have money to put in. So just make sure that the one you're putting in, um, there's no fee. So you get all of, all of your money. So I'm going to go and do that now and then I'm meeting my mum for a coffee um, before I carry on with the rest of the day. So I thought before I drop the coins off, I'd just quickly show you how many there are in here. So Grant, bless him, has been collecting all these pound coins for like literally years, I think. I hope the camera's like picking up how many is in there, but they don't even look real. They look like something off Fort Bayard or something. Um, let me know in the comments if you remember Fort Bayard, but they look like just lots of little gold coins. So yeah, I'm going to drop these off. So we've got money is in the bank now and we just met mum for some breakfast at Mazzarella's so mum has got a nice toast selection I've got some pancakes with berry and yoghurt and we've both got Americanos with some hot milk You alright mum? <laughs> Ready for some nice toast? My toast is my favourite yeah. yeah, This looks really nice favorite this meal of the day. Yeah 
Mm, that's really good. So, very quick update because I need to get out the door again. Um, but I have had my lips and cheek filler done. So I think I had 0.7 mil in my lips. And I think I had a mil across the cheeks. So half a mil in each cheek. I think that that's right. But um, I can definitely see the difference already in the cheeks. It's subtle, but it's just a nice lift. I've not had it done before. Um, and it wasn't really painful at all. On a scale of 10, I'd maybe give it a two. It's just that initial um, scratch from the needle. Um, but yeah, I'd say lip filler is a little bit more painful. Um, but yeah, really happy with the results as always. Um, and I go to the face things first. Um, I'll link people's socials and things down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I just got home. Me and Indy have just been on a very quick walk because um, I need to get off to the hairdressers now and it's also turned really hot outside. So I just wanted to go for oh, a quick little walk with Indy just so she got some fresh air um, and she's back now with a bowl of water and some biscuits um, whilst I go and get these roots sorted out. So yeah. On to the next appointment, having a really lovely day though. I had really nice toast breakfast with my mum, which you will have seen. Um, and yeah, just really nice to have some pamper appointments and chill time. So yeah, I'm going to get these roots sorted out now. my hair appointment um, I don't know how well you can see in the light but I'm all fresh no more roots and yeah amazing job as always I go to studio 65 in Rotherham and um, highly highly recommend if anybody is looking for a new hair salon to go to so yeah I've had my hair done now I'm feeling so much better now that it's done it feels so nice and soft and yeah really really happy with it um so yeah i had my hair done and then i've nipped to um a family members for um oh i'll just quickly move up in this area um yeah and then i've nipped to a family members because they were having a barbecue for her birthday so just popped in there just said hi to everyone had a drink um, and now i'm on my way home to spend the evening with Indy because I've been out most of the day um, and I don't know if you can see behind me but I've just stopped in via McDonald's I'm just gonna get some food for myself for dinner just because it's just me tonight so it's nice easy tea a bit naughty but <laughs> so have a nice treat and just have a nice chilled evening after that I think so yeah that's all for my beauty appointments and that kind of thing that I've been doing today um, so I've had my brows, I've had my lashes done, I've had um, lip and cheek filler, I've had my hair done so I'm feeling sorry about your weight that's alright thank you, you. cheers that's all the stuff that I've had, I've had done and I've had a really lovely day I feel very pampered and very grateful that I'm able to enjoy doing all of that sort of stuff so yeah i've got my food and i'm gonna go home and enjoy the rest of the evening now so i just quickly show what i got from mcdonald's because i've gone all out and got my absolute babes um so i've got a quarter pounder cheeseburger um fries and then the cheesy garlic bites <laughs> that's indie if you can hear it in the background <laughs> Um, the cheesy garlic bites that they have in at the minute, I absolutely love these. And then a Fanta orange, and this is also my all-time favourite McFlurry, it's the Raspberry Flake McFlurry. Um, and yeah, whilst I was out, I also picked up a couple of these um, naked rice pots. So this one is Malaysian-style curry, 
and this one is the Japanese style katsu curry. So I've had this one before and it's honestly really nice. To say that it's a kind of um, quick, easy lunch type um, rice pot, it's actually really tasty and not too bad for you. So um, yeah, I picked up some of those whilst I was out, but yeah. Let me know um, down in the comments below what your favorite uh, McDonald's order is, what you normally get when you go. I'd love to know what um, everybody gets. So yeah, this is mine. I'm gonna dig in and enjoy. Hello everyone. So it is quite a few days later since I last picked up the camera. Um, I think the last time I picked up the camera was probably on Saturday when I was kind of getting um, all my wedding beauty appointments and prep and all those things done. Um, so it has just been so crazy busy and finishing off so many little final details for the wedding. Um, I wanted to kind of show you all of the bits and bobs that we've got together for the wedding, um, but I just completely ran out of time. So maybe I can do that um, after the wedding when we have everything back at home. Um, I'll see, but yeah, so let me know if that's something that you might be interested in seeing. Um, but today is Wednesday and we get married tomorrow, which I just I can't believe that the day is almost here and now I'm feeling really good. I'm not too nervous anymore. I'm just like really excited now and just can't wait to enjoy the day. Um, now that all of like the kind of last minute bits and bobs are done, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So it is five to five at the minute. And this morning I got everything ready to take to the venue. Um, packed a bag for myself, packed all of Indy's bits and bobs up and then dropped Indy off with a dog sitter. Um, and then Grant was kind of running around doing errands and things and picking bits and bobs up too. And then I went to the venue, dropped some things off um, and then came to the hotel that we're staying at um, and had a really nice afternoon tea with my mum and dad. We had some lovely tea, um, some Prosecco, sandwiches, cakes, scones um, and just kind of exhaled a bit. <laughs> um, so tonight and tomorrow night, so the night before and the night of the wedding, we're staying at Thorsby Hall Hotel and Spa. Um, and it is described as a stately home with magnificent original features and it is honestly amazing. It's absolutely huge and everywhere we've seen so far it's just so beautiful. Um, they describe it as one of Nottinghamshire's most important houses. There are deep armchairs in the vaulted splendour of the Great Hall and the house's broad terrace overlooks a croquet lawn and acres of classic parkland. We had our afternoon tea looking out over the parkland and it was just so nice. And it was actually really special to just have that couple of hours with my mum and dad. Um, they say their rooms vary from historic, sumptuous four posters to our simpler standard rooms. There's a wide range of activities available, including falconry and live music every night. So I thought before I mess the room up, I'll just give you a very quick room tour because it's such a lovely, beautiful room. Um, and we're all getting ready in here tomorrow, which is super exciting. Um, and all of the staff here have been so welcoming, so friendly, just can't do enough for us. Um, so yeah. I would actually love to come back here with Grant for kind of just a weekend away. Um, and they're part of the Warner collection of hotels. Um, so yeah, that's where we're staying tonight and tomorrow night. So Grant is staying with his groomsmen at a different hotel. Um, and the plan for the rest of the afternoon is I'm gonna have a shower I'm freshen up, wash my hair, get ready for dinner, um, and then I'm going to go down. And we're having dinner with um, me, obviously, my mum and dad, and then my sister and her boyfriend, Hans, 
Um, we've got some um, other family and friends that are staying at the hotel tonight, so we will probably bump into them afterwards and go into the one of the bars and have some drinks. Um, I don't know how much I'll film today, but yeah, I just wanted to at least do a room tour and just have a quick chat and catch up with you about what's going on and what we've been doing and um, because everything's really exciting so yeah i'll do a quick room tour now okay so this is the view from the front door when you first come in so we've got really nice high ceilings and a four poster bed and then we've got a kind of desk area here. I've not actually unpacked anything yet, so I've got a bunch of stuff all over. And we've got some Krispy Kreme donuts in there for tomorrow morning. But yeah, we've got a nice desk area. And there's me. I've got this dress on, which is from Mango, one of my favourite summer dresses. And then we've got some lovely goodies over here. We've got some crisps, popcorn, um, these look lovely actually. I don't know how to pronounce that actually. Probishes. Um, but yeah, we've got some soft drinks. Um, we've got some chocolates in here and then some biscuits. And then look at this bed. It's so comfy as well. I've had a little lay down and a test of it. <laughs> we've got this beautiful fireplace and seating area. Lots of nice big mirrors in here too. And then, look at that view out of the window. I think some people are playing croquet out on the lawns. But just look at that view and all I can hear is bird song. It's just, oh yeah, it just feels so relaxing here. And there is actually a little, I mean it's not a balcony, I don't really know what you'd call it. But there is that out there, which is so nice. And then over here, I have my dress hung up. It's my veil and my dress hung up. And then we've got hotel dressing gowns, which are always nice. And we've also got dressing gowns for the morning. That's mine. I've got a couple of the girls' bridesmaid dresses in here and the other girls have their own. Oh, and I've got my wedding um, engagement ring back. It's been at the jewellers being cleaned. Oh, I don't know if it'll focus, but um, yeah, it's so nice and sparkly now. It looks like brand new. So yeah, I've got that back. And they did um, some towel swans on our bed and put some rose petals out, which is lovely. And then I've got a fan, which is always great. And then over here we've got tea and coffee, some more biscuits. Um, yeah, fireplace. And then in here, we have the mini fridge um, with some still sparkling water. We brought the juice from home, but they um, popped the milk in. And a lovely lady from housekeeping also brought up a bottle of uh, bubbles for me, which is really nice. So I'll probably have a glass of that later, actually. <laughs> So that's in there, and then I have got this um, whole pack that I need to have a look through, but I think this tells you about the, oh yeah, so this is the entertainment guide, um, and it looks like there's loads of different things on, so I've not actually looked through this yet, but I'll have a look through that, I mean we're not really going to be spending that much time at the hotel because here for the wedding but yeah I'll have a look through that and um, yeah we've got a TV beautiful marble on the fireplace and also lots of nice big mirrors which is always good and then in here this is the ensuite bathroom I love that there's a little chair in here um, but yeah got a huge bathroom and a big bath and another beautiful fireplace there too um, and we've got some of my favourites I'm so excited about these um, I've already opened the soap but this is um, Temple Spa's 
cleansing bar. And then we've got some of the um, daily shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, and then some of the Peace Be Still Calming Skin Balm. So I'm gonna be using all of these in my shower. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of the room tour. We've also got double sinks here, which is lovely. It's only me staying in here tonight, but yeah, that's just really exciting. So it is quite a bit late now and I am showered and hair washed, ready for dinner. I've done my makeup and got changed. Um, so yeah, we're about to go and head down for dinner. But I've had a really lovely shower and a lovely afternoon just taking off some of the very final last boxes. Um, and I have a gift for my parents and my sister who was my maid of honour that I'm gonna give them at dinner. So I'm excited to give them that um, and just say thank you for everything <laughs> um but i was in the shower and i just made a conscious decision to really remember this moment because <sighs> oh my gosh i like no i'm gonna cry already <laughs> i was nearly crying in the shower because i was just thinking how lucky i am and just how thankful I am um, for everything that I'm able to do and the people that I have around me uh, so yeah I just kind of really wanted to bottle that feeling and that moment of just being like just pure happiness and excitement um, so yeah just on cloud nine already I'm just so happy already it's not even the wedding day yet but yeah just feeling super excited and thankful and just wanting to basically just bottle this moment of excitement and yeah so tonight I need to go because my mum and dad are waiting to go down but I'll just show you my outfit very quickly I've got on this Zara it's um, actually a dress that I wore for my hen weekend when we went out in Lincoln to the Cozy Club. Um, but tonight I wanted something a little bit more conservative. So, um, because this skirt is like, yeah, it's super short. Um, so I've just popped this satin midi skirt over the top. It doesn't look the best just because of well, I don't know, it doesn't look too bad actually. Um, but yeah, I love this Zara dress, so I really wanted to wear it again, but I laid it with this skirt, so it's a bit different. Um, skirt is from H&M, and then shoes. Um, I think these are actually Primark, they're quite old, but yeah. So that's what I'm wearing tonight. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go have some dinner. Well, mum and dad have scouted out <laughs> where the car is going to pick us up. Um, tomorrow, ready for the wedding. Look at that. What an amazing building, isn't it? It's absolutely huge as well. Yeah. So, yeah, beautiful. So, you're going through the corporate entrance? Yeah, because there's a few different entrances, isn't there? So, yeah, so they've got two turning circles this one here and then. One at the front of the hotel. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's such a beautiful stately home type hotel. Oh wow. Is that supposed to be a bird cage? I think it's supposed to be a bird cage. It smells nice anyway.
so it is quite a few hours later now and I've just got back into my room. We had a really nice dinner and then we met my godmother and uncle for the drink in one of the bars. So we've just finished up with that. Um, I'm just about to take my makeup off and then get into bed. Um, might watch a bit of TV and have a cup of tea before going to bed, have some biscuits or something and then yeah tomorrow is our wedding day <laughs> which just seems so crazy like even thinking about it even though we've been planning it for so long and we've been talking about it for so long it just seems crazy that it's actually tomorrow so yeah i'm not really feeling nervous anymore um I'm just feeling like more excited now and just, yeah, just to enjoy the day. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, and yeah, hopefully we will soon have a video of our wedding to share, which is really exciting. We've got a videographer to capture the day. Um, so yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I know it's probably been a little bit random and a bit all over the place, but um there's been a it's just been kind of the little moments over the last week have been really important to me and like um it's just all those little moments that kind of add up and I really want to be able to look back on and remember um in the run-up to the wedding and I'm kind of consciously trying to remember specific moments of this time because I just want to try and take it all in and just absorb everything and just enjoy it and be able to remember it so yeah <laughs> um so thank you for watching like i said i hope you've enjoyed it um and yeah we will be um back soon hopefully with a wedding video so yeah i will see you in my next one bye